What's up, YouTube? Welcome back. I'm John. I'm Laura. And we are Love, Love and Junk. Junk. So today, we are having Culver's. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you have a Culver's in your area. It's mostly a Midwest uh, franchise. And from Wisconsin, right? Yeah, they're from Wisconsin. The Culver's is delicious. Yes. They make the food to order uh, every time, so it takes a little bit longer. Um, but it is so delicious. And being from Wisconsin, they use uh, fresh beef. They use uh, real cheese. Yeah. I, I can't say enough about this. It's great. I think let's unload Yeah. and see what we got. And then we can tell them a little bit more about Culver's and what we want to talk about. You think? Yeah. All right. I'm excited. I got something new. Um, this is you. Yeah. Onion rings. Oh, they're so good. Not this, time. this is you. All right. And I got. This is you. <laughs> I got a mushroom and Swiss burger. My God. And see, Culver's, they have what they call butter burgers because it's cooked with butter. Yes. So this is the mess in the bottom, which is my french fries. But I got something brand new for Culver's. And um, it is, oh my gosh, spinach, help me, spinach, artichoke, BLT, chicken sandwich. sandwich. Crispy yeah. chicken sandwich. You can get it crispy or grilled. I pick crispy. It looks good. It does look good. And where's the junk? Oh, on the bottom. Junk's yeah. on the bottom. Junk's on the bottom. See the spinach artichoke dip? It's down hiding on the bottom. Mm-hmm. That does look good. We got some cheese curds. Like we said, being from Wisconsin, cheese. Oh, their cheese curds are so good, aren't they? Yeah. And you got your fries over there? Yeah, they're in the back. All right. You know what they didn't give us? Napkins. What? Mm-hmm. All right, I'm going to dig in. Ready? Cheers. Mm. Cheers. Cheers. What did you say you got? A butter burger? Mushroom and Swiss burger. Oh. Yeah. A double burger. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. That's good. You want to try mine? Sure. Make sure you get the bottom. That's where the junk is. Mmm. Mm-hmm. It's different. That's good. Mm-hmm. That is different. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got onion rings instead of fries. Because the onion rings there are so good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We've been busy today. We have been busy. You know what I like about their fries? They have that crinkly fries. Like I like the crinkle cut. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we told you in some other videos, or if you're new, we're moving. And so, we move two weeks from today. Mm. Two weeks from yesterday. Yesterday. Yeah. That two weeks is going to come quick. Mm-hmm. Right. So we had a bullet you know, bullet points of things we wanted to get done. Most importantly, our new house has um, most of the appliances, but it's missing the refrigerator. Yeah. And we realized how close um, moving day is, so that was the top of the list today, was getting the refrigerator so that it could be ordered and be delivered. So. Yeah. We got it from Lowe's. Had a, I think it was a good price. And free delivery. But the delivery, they said, was going to take about three weeks. But then they looked, and we're moving, closing on Friday, May 24. And they said they could get us in on Sunday, the 26th. That works. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that works. That's we're cool. closing on that Friday, and we thought we'll be moving, so we'll probably grab pizza or something quick anyway. And so we don't really need the refrigerator. Right. 
and we don't have to be out of the place that we're in um, for a month still. So yeah. our, the food that we have will still be fine in the, in the place where we're at now. Right. So yeah, uh, it's going to be great. I can't wait. So much more room. We got somebody to come and get all of our big stuff out and move that in. Mm -hmm. That's exciting for me because the last move, the move into this place, was over the winter and it was horrible. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I think it's worth it, the cost to hire somebody. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. So, not the refrigerator. If you don't know this, by the way, if you're a veteran, you get a discount. And thank you to our salesperson that told us that because. We were able to use it on top of the sale price. Yeah, Lowe's, you can sign up to be a vet, or you can sign up there or register as a veteran, and then any purchase that you make at Lowe's has 10% off. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. And once you got up there, it only took about five minutes at the customer service, and then you just give them the phone number mm -hmm. at the checkout. So if you didn't know that, you should definitely check it out. Yeah, if you're a veteran, that's a good deal. Yeah. So, we did the refrigerator. What else do we do? We went out to lunch today. We've been uh, keeping pretty much eating out to the weekends, but uh, there's a place called Zeke's Island Cafe where we live, and it has Caribbean-style food. Yeah. And so... Um, we had that for lunch. We were a little disappointed. I'd been there once before, but they moved, and it it um was it was okay. Yeah, I, I would say it wasn't horrible, but like one of the sides, you know, they had a choice of sides for what I got. I got um, combo. They had jerk chicken and jerk pork, and it was over rice. And then you got to pick a side, and. I mean, most of the sides were rice or, or rice, rice and, and beans. beans. <laughs> yeah. And I was already getting rice and beans. Or Hawaiian with, rice, right? Yeah. Or island rice. Came with the came with the meal, and so I'm looking, and the only other side was like fresh pineapple. Well, we like fresh pineapple, so I got that. It did not look like it was fresh. Mm -mm. I mean, it looked like it was. It wasn't canned, but. Not fresh. Mm -hmm. It was beat down. Mm -hmm. For sure. And I got, I don't remember the name of it, but like a spicy shrimp. And y'all know I'm a baby about spice. It was a crispy shrimp over rice. Mm -hmm. And it had a sriracha sauce on the top. And it was a little spicy for me. It was okay. But I think my big problem with the meal was the rice, I think had okay flavor, but it was really dry. Mm -hmm. Mine was really dry. Yeah, it just looked like yellow saffron rice. It didn't look like, like anything special. But it was tasty, you know, but. It, yeah, it was okay. It would probably be a while before we go there again. So we did that, and then what else did we do today? Uh, well. We went to Walmart. Yeah, we go to Walmart. Mm-hmm. Um, since we do have access to the new place, <coughs> we grabbed some paint and uh, the sellers are letting us come in and do some painting. So Most of it doesn't need to be painted, but we wanted to paint the inside of the closets because they haven't been done in a while. And well, you just, you know, getting in and out of the closet all the time. It, you know, they you needed it. Things and, yeah. Right. So we thought, let's do the insides. We know we want to do it anyway, so let's, since we're given that opportunity, let's go ahead and knock that out. That way we don't have to get in, load up the closets, take everything out to paint them. So, right. so we yeah. started on that tonight. We did. We got one closet painted. Probably have to do another coat. Mm -hmm. We have like a bright yellow on the inside, so... The paint on the outside on the walls is gray mm -hmm. with white trim and then mm -hmm. so when you open the closet you're gonna get that pop of like a bright yellow 
Um, it's a really nice yellow color too. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, it's not gonna be like pow in your face because you're gonna have coats and different things in there that kind of, you know, tone it down a little bit. The guy in the paint department was having a bad day or a bad life, maybe. I, I don't know that today had anything to do with it, but he came over all disgruntly and grumbly and uh, wanted to know what we wanted and told him we needed some paint. Asked, he just said, what brand? And then um, went and got it. He came back and he never asked what um, sheen we wanted or anything. So he started mixing it up and I was trying to tell John we need to look and see what he has. And he did not have what we wanted. We wanted satin. He had semi gloss, and yeah. But I was just a little put off the fact that he didn't ask. And then he acted irritated with me when I corrected him and said, "Oh, we wanted yeah. satin." He was kind of then he was slamming stuff around and just to kind of give you an idea about what this guy was like, he kind of looked and sounded like he owned a bar on The Simpsons. He looked like Mo. Mm -hmm. But like, it wasn't about how he looked. No, it was like his expression and how he carried yeah, himself. I'm just saying, he did kind of remind me of that. No, but I'm saying Mo. You know how Mo's kind of always like, you know. Yeah, how's it going, Homer? Yeah, he was very much like that. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so we got our paint, and then what? Came home, I got a load of stuff to take over, went over, got, um, we went through some things to determine Goodwill or, uh, Key. Right. We, I think that's pretty much. Yeah, it took us a while, so, you know, right now it's probably nine o'clock at night, and we're finally getting to eat, and, um, so here we are. Mm -hmm. We, you know, it took us a while to paint and everything. But um, even though it was just a closet. Mm -hmm. So when we're done, we've got plans. Yeah. We are hobby gamers. Would you say? Is that what yeah. you would call it? So we love to play board games. We like some video games too, but mainly board games. They don't have to be hobby games. But... What we mean by that is the kind of games that are strategic in nature. Mm -hmm. And not all, but the kind of places that you walk into a game store to buy. They're yeah. not real mainstream. Some of them are. Some of them are at Walmart and Target and stuff. Yeah, but. Walmart and Target are starting to carry some of these games. Um, let's see, what's an example of one of the games that we got from Target or Walmart? Uh, I got Azul mm -hmm. um, from Target, and that's a I, that's one of our newest games that we got, and we really like playing that. It's a like a tile placement game. You, you end up choosing tiles, um, and then where you can place them at. There's certain rules about placement, and then you end up scoring them. And um, that was really fun. It was really intuitive to play. It wasn't really difficult, but mm -hmm. I liked it a lot, even, other, even though I lost both times that we played it. We have other tile placement games, too, that we like. And then um, we do like some cards, but I feel like we end up playing more dice games than mm -hmm. we do card games. Yeah. Those little dice games like uh, Clicks, um, Sparkle. Sparkle. We play that. And we do like some mainstream games too. We like Parcheesi a lot. Yeah, Parcheesi is okay. We play Sequence. I mean, we've got like Battleship and Sorry and Monopoly, but we usually don't play games like that. Mm -hmm. Except for, was it Christmas? I got you the. Queen Monopoly, mm -hmm. and Laura's a huge Queen fan, so we are going to be playing that sometime soon, mm -hmm. probably after we move. Mm -hmm. Yep, so we bought a new board game a few days ago. We watch on YouTube a channel called Board Game Geek, 
and what we do as we go on there just like anything you want a new phone a lot of people go to YouTube and watch um, a phone review we do the same thing with board games mm -hmm. and we can tell just when they start to explain the game whether it's something that oh yeah we've played something similar we would like it or that sounds really cool we should try it or too much too much time too much effort too mm -hmm too complicated or whatever whether or not we would think it would be fun we can or tell, just not for us yeah right we can tell by watching the video so we watch them a lot um the other day something came up and it wasn't board game geek but something came up about this game called spirit of the wild yeah and it what was interesting to me about it is it was made for two players we have a lot of games that are made for two players and up or two play, you know, two to six players, let's say, and we'll play them, and they're okay at two players, but we feel but, like they'd yeah. be more fun if you had more people. Um, so this game was made specifically for two people in mind. Right. So we're anxious to try that one. Yeah, we'll end up playing that tonight. Yeah. Yeah. So how was your? Had you had the mushroom and Swiss before? No. Do you like it? You, you're usually the mushroom and Swiss person. Yeah. Not me, but uh, I got it this time, and it was delicious. I loved it. Good. Yeah. My sandwich was really good, too. Try some cheese. There's curds. some in the back. A oh, few. you got some in the back. A few, yeah. So, Culver's is, there's two of them in our town. And I would say there was also a Culver's in the town we moved from. So it's probably not the place we go to the most because we moved from a very small town that had a handful of places to eat to a larger town where there's a ton of choices. So since we had Culver's at the last place, I think we've had it twice since we've moved here. Right. Um, but we like it. We yeah. like it a lot. One of the things that I like about Culver's is they have frozen custard, which yeah. is really good. Uh, really really good and then they always have a rotating flavor of the day and you can go on their calendar online and see what the flavor of the day mm. is and mm -hmm. today it was toffee pecan which sounded amazing we didn't get that but it sounded good yeah the custard's really good they have like shakes and malts and mm -hmm. what they call it, concrete mixers mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they, on the regular menu, they have like Rubens and pork tenderloins and a few different sandwiches that you can't get just at McDonald's or Hardee's. So sometimes if you want a sandwich but you're not in the mood for a burger, it's a good place to go because they do have a fish sandwich, they have a chicken sandwich. Right. Their chicken tenders are really good too. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How is your chicken sandwich? Well, you had it. Yes, but how do you feel? It's good. Did you get it again? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good. Mm-hmm. I wonder if that's a limited time thing or if they're going to have it all the time. It's a feature thing, so probably yeah. limited time. That's what I always liked when they had their pub burger. Yeah. That was really good. They also, and they would have different ones as features. And right. They also have um, shrimp baskets there and some other... They always have um, soup. Which is good, which is also different for fast food, but something that we like. You can get soup, they have really good salads. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I'm getting full. Mm hmm. So tomorrow is Mother's Day. Yeah. And so we've got some plans tomorrow, but usually we like to, you know, one of our hobbies is cooking. We like to cook. We're not going to do that tomorrow. No, we did that on Easter and that. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> so Laura's boys are going to come over and, you know, I think we're going to end up playing some games. Uh-huh. And mm. we're not going to cook. We might get some pizza or Chinese delivery or And something. that's my choice because John loves to cook. He's an excellent cook. But when we cooked on Easter, our kitchen here is a galley kitchen, which is fun. But it's kind of small and we're in the process of moving. And I thought, if the boys are coming over and we want to play games and we enjoy playing games, let's just spend all that time doing that. Yeah. We also have a video that we're filming since they'll be here to facilitate because it's a challenge between the two of us. Yeah. And we have to be blindfolded, so stay tuned for that. 
Um, so we're going to do that since they'll be here too. Yeah. So by the time they see this, Mother's Day will have passed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> for sure. Both of our moms are gone, um, which is sad. We got flowers to take to the cemetery here soon. Um, so it's, of course, I'd much rather have my mom here and John's mom here, but I'm glad that we get the, to spend the day with the kids. That's fun. Yeah, that's fun. So you will be the guest of honor. I our, will. I'm not really a guest, but you will be I will. the honoree. Yeah, so we'll see how that goes. Just getting together and playing games and not feeling like we have to do anything because right. we have been in moving mode. That's what I want the most. And I don't want him to feel like he has to do anything either. Who, me? You. All right, I ain't doing nothing. The boys can do everything, <laughs> right? Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. Let them do stuff. That's right. Every other day is kids' day. Am I right about that? <laughs> so, anyway, are you about done? Yeah, got a few more onion rings left. I love these little ones. You do? Yeah, they're great. You just pop them in your mouth. They don't. You don't have to like chew through them or anything. Mm -hmm. A lot of times they'll bite through, and then you end up pulling the onion out of the ring. Mm hmm. So I'm glad that we have Culver's here. We have Hardy's here, or Carl's Jr., depending on where you're from. We did not have that in Newton. However, the place that we're from. However, they built one, and it opened, I think, the very same weekend we moved, right? Yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, Laura kept saying, oh, I love Hardy's. I can't wait till they get here. And then, yeah, the sign said for the longest time, spring of 2018. So that came and went. And then uh, when we moved, there it was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That same week. Um, we do have McDonald's here, obviously. McDonald's is everywhere. Mm -hmm. um, that is not ever my first choice in fast food. I think you like it more than I do. I can find something to eat there if we go to... Oh, so Culver's, we should say. Our usual go-to is Butter Burger, I would say. Bacon cheese butter burger maybe something like that yeah or depending on what the featured thing is right at what was the next place we talked about hardy's i really love a hot ham and cheese yeah and why do you call it a band-aid sandwich i don't know it's the texture okay sometimes i call it well no what happened was the reason <laughs> i call it a band-aid sandwich is one time i was really sick I ate a hot ham and cheese. It reminded me of being sick. It reminded me of like chewing band-aids, like that texture, but it didn't knock me off of them, obviously. That's what I get almost every time I go. Hot ham and cheese and roast beef, mm -hmm. which again, that's probably, you know, I'm not a McDonald's person because I don't always, if I eat a burger, I love burgers, right? If we go to a restaurant, a lot of times you'll get something whatever and I want a really good burger like with yeah. an egg on it or something and McDonald's burgers every once in a while is okay yeah I do like that they changed and their quarter pounders have fresh beef now it takes a little longer like if you're going through the drive through or whatever but that's okay it's it's better mm -hmm. but it still isn't like if I'm craving a burger it's not like what I'm craving right you know that's the thing though with like we talked about before, um, like Hardee's, I get the Monster Burger, and I feel like their their meat and everything's kind of dry. Um, and, but like McDonald's, it always seems like it's like juicy, greasy, greasy, yeah, <laughs> greasy. Um, That's good. Greasy flavor. We also have and heart attacks. Wendy's here that we didn't have, but we're both from here and moved away and came back. So it's not like we've never had Wendy's before, Right. but, um, we haven't had that. Oh, we've had it once. There's yeah. a couple of, we've had it once. Yeah. We are going to see, uh, Avengers, Avengers. Endgame. Uh -huh. which here's how it ends. No. <laughs> <laughs> not doing that. Um, but it was okay. I don't eat Wendy's a lot growing up. I didn't eat Wendy's a lot. No, the but, only thing I remember about Wendy's is my grandfather, he would go there and, and take me with him just for the Frosties. I loved that Frosties growing growing up, no thank you, growing up, Wendy's had a salad bar. 
Mm -hmm. Which was kind of cool. So I like a good salad bar. I didn't when I was a kid. Now that I'm older and would appreciate it, they don't have them anymore. But um, I would say my favorite fast food place is Taco Bell. Yeah. Love Taco Bell. And if I want another kind of sandwich, Hardee's. And if I want a burger from a fast food place, we might have to do a showdown and see. Because usually if I'm hungry for a burger, I don't go fast food. I go to like a bar, you know, like a bar kind of place that serves burgers. Yeah. We've got some good ones here locally. But if I want a burger, what's my... I don't know. I kind of... I like Burger King burgers. Yeah. They're good. I like uh, McDonald's breakfast. I think Burger King has good burgers. Mm -hmm. um, Hardee's has good breakfast too. All right, I like fast food breakfast. Yeah, because I like uh, Burger King breakfast too. Mm -hmm. Those uh, croissant sandwiches, man, they're good. Mm -hmm. I don't know why we're talking about food because I am stuffed. Yeah, well, we were talking about our favorites and what we get at different places. Favorites. Who has your favorite fries? Favorite fries. Um, I don't know. It depends on if they're hot. I hate when they're old. They yeah. gotta be fresh. Yeah. Uh, I like that Hardee's or Carl's Jr., depending on where you're from, has crispy curls. That's what I always want. Yeah, those are good. But they also have onion rings as a choice. So you can you have a choice of fries or onion rings. Yep. Which I like. I love McDonald's fries. You can't hardly beat McDonald's French fries when they're hot, fresh, and salted right. Right. But I how often does that happen? Am I right? Like yeah. they're either cold, they're hard, they're too salty, they're not salted. They cannot get it right. Right. To me. Yeah. Sorry, is, McDonald's. But it's like it's like striking gold when you get those French fries that are just perfect. Mm -hmm. I was actually impressed with Hardee's fries the other day. We got we had Hardee's and it was um, they were good. I mean, they weren't crinkle cut. They weren't like McDonald's. They look like um, fresh cut French fries. They mm -hmm. were good. I like them. Mm -hmm. Those might be my favorite. Mm -hmm. Checkers, I never get a burger at Checkers, so I don't know how that compares. And you only had it once, right? You don't get a burger from the Checkers? Not usually. What do you get? Well, they have other things like chicken, whatever, spicy chicken sandwich. Or... Yeah. I guess I have had a burger from Checkers, but it's been so long that I don't remember how it compares. I think if I want a burger from, and I have to go fast food, I think it's going to be... Burger King. But when you see Culver's is fast food too, and I think I mean they're kind of in a league of their own. I, I think their burgers are probably best. Yeah. But Culver's is also a little bit more expensive than McDonald's and Right. And Burger King and the other places. Yeah, and technically they're fast food, but they it certainly was slow today. But of everything, Taco Bell is my favorite. If I don't want a burger, if I just want something quick, if, oh, I'm starving, we have to eat while we're out, and it has to be fast food, Taco Bell is my favorite. Yeah, I love Taco Bell. And I don't get sick of it. Yep. Where if I eat McDonald's three times a week or something, I mean, we don't eat Taco Bell that often, but if, if I had to eat McDonald's that often, I'd be raging sick of it. Yep. But Taco Bell, I don't think I would. I agree. All right. I guess. So <laughs> yeah. now you know all of our opinion about fast food. Leave a note in the comments and let us know what your fast food, uh, your right. favorite fast food places, or what your go-to meal is with fast food. Yeah, and if you like food and like to eat, give us a thumbs up on this <laughs> video. That's right. That's right. So also don't forget to hit subscribe. We're trying to put out multiple right. videos in a week and hit the little bell so you can get notified as we do put new videos up. Right. Yeah, that's right. We got some challenges coming up. You'll see us moving. Yeah, we'll start doing some vlogs here pretty soon, and hopefully you'll enjoy that. Mm-hmm. Yep. And I guess that's it for now, right? That's it for now. All right. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. Bye. Bye.